guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. In today's video, I'm sharing another backdrop with you guys, but this one's actually I'm like sitting down and making this backdrop with you. So DIY, full force, loving, missing, really wanted to do it. And finally, this video is here. Hopefully you will enjoy this video, it will be inspiring. And before I let you go in my community chat i did a poll you guys and i had a question for you if you wanted to see a question and answer video from me if you guys have any questions for me that you want to ask go ahead and comment down below and i'll be there to collect them all and answer in my upcoming q a video alrighty guys so let's get back to this backdrop if you want to see what is happening how I did how I made this backdrop stay tuned and let's go all right let's go over all the supplies that we would need I do have white posters here I'm not sure how many of posters we will be using we'll see I will tell you everything at the end of this video and I will list everything in the description down below so I'm using scissors a string pen tape I did buy satin brown boots uh, color spray paint just because we are making donuts and I wanted to make my donuts look more realistic as a fried dough so I wanted to paint because I didn't find correct or not even any of the brown color posters so I am spray painting my posters I will be using a whole bunch of colorful construction paper as well. I don't have it here. I want to make uh, a few big donuts. So I did tape two posters together with my tape. Then to make a nicer shape, circle shape, I did fold my two posters in half. And I did make a tiny crease right in the middle, just a little bit, to find the middle of my two posters. Then I put a dot in the middle just to know that there is a middle. Then I'm taking my pen and going all the way to the edge of my posters just to measure a correct uh, measurement uh, of a string to draw the circle and then start drawing just like this uh, obviously I do have a circle already you can absolutely fold your two posters together and cut one half of the circle and then unfold those uh, um, taped halves and then you'll have one big circle so I have two trash bags just taped together to cover the floor and my donut that I'm about to spray paint. I want to focus my paint more on the edges uh, just because I'm going to be making frosting and gluing the frosting on top so you don't have to really paint the middle. So let's go! one of my donuts over here these circles I like how the color looks it looks really really cute so what I need to do or want to do now I want to make a frosting for this donut so I'm taking one single uh, poster board I am folding my poster board in half and I'm going to be cutting uh, a circle So it looks pretty close to a circle now I want to make the frosting not just like a circle complete circle I want to make some of the waves like frosting was kind of like dripping down a little bit so I'm just taking my frosting and making these type of kind of waves pretty good so I want to go back to my donut I'm folding my donut in half 
And now I want to cut out a hole right in the middle, just like donuts have. I already made one donut, so I'm kind of like measuring. Kind of look at your donut and see what kind of hole would fit your donut. Back to our frosting, I need to cut out a larger hole than this one. So if you have that cut out, just place it in the middle and you can trace it out or you can fold it in half like I did for my donut and then trace okay so instead of going and cutting this hole on a line just uh, cut it a little bit bigger than you just traced out when this is done uh, you are ready to glue your frosting down so take your hot glue or any glue that you have and just glue it down This is done when everything is glued right on top of your donut. You are ready to make your sprinkles. So I cut just strips of construction paper about like an inch, inch and a half wide. And the next thing is you just take these strips and cut a whole bunch of sprinkles. are ready so take your hot glue low temperature glue gun or any other school glue or glue sticks and sprinkle away on this donut um, you guys so this is my donut it's ready you can add as many confettis or not confettis uh, sprinkles as you want i think it looks good as is i still need to finish uh two more large this size donuts and then i prepped four more of smaller donuts so my smaller donut i just took one single um, poster board and i cut out a circle from that poster board and then I'm going to make exactly what I did with this donut. So here I'm done with all of my donuts. So now I want to uh, make two or a few donuts that are like bitten. I'm turning my uh, donut to the other side. And I want to draw out like a bite. So my donuts are ready, so I'm ready to put them on my fabric. I will be using my pins with pearls on top, like usual. Let's assemble this and I'm so excited to see how it's going to look at the end. what I have for you guys today. I like how fun this backdrop looks. I used five big size donuts or I made five big size donuts and four smaller donuts. I did use 23 poster boards for the whole thing to create that many donuts and six pages of colorful construction paper. I did use my pins with pearls on top to pin everything on my fabric and it looks really really cute i like how it looks the only thing i would probably change i would probably make my um frosting a little bit larger than i have it now but overall super duper adorably cute <laughs> Alrighty, guys i will play with uplighting and i will share a few pictures at the end of this video Alrighty guys, so here you have it. This is my donut backdrop. I hope this was helpful and this was inspiring and it was easy enough to execute for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and 
If you're new here, you guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos and just join our creative YouTube family. Alrighty guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye-bye.